position. We're moments away from the start of the game. Good afternoon and welcome to the ground round five coverage from ELS Hall of the Women's State League First Division coming to you live. This is the second game of the double header fixture and uh, we're, into, we're getting into the stream very early here before I've even got lineups organised because uh, we have Councillor Penny Peterson here throwing out the first pitch of the game this afternoon. Uh, the Mayor Jerome Laxley came down a couple of weeks ago and threw out the first pitch in the men's state league game and uh, now we have Councillor Peterson here this afternoon throwing out the first pitch. We told her there was no pressure that she was throwing out the first pitch to an Australian and uh, international catcher and uh, we, we said no pressure but she's here now this afternoon and uh, she's just ready to take the mound. So we thank her for the support and we thank Ride Council for the support that they've given baseball in the community here too. Just as Councillor Peterson makes her way to the mound. She's been given some pitching tips from her son. Plays uh, 14's Ford North Ride Rams. Here we go. And uh, it's a great job there from Councillor Peterson. So we thank her for the support. A photo op with Councillor. Cameraman's on his way down. Paparazzi. <laughs> run, paparazzi, run! <laughs> So they'll just uh, take a quick photo. We, we'll, we'll cross to uh, one of our ad breaks while we get set up to start the stream. But uh, we thank Councillor Peterson and uh, for coming down and uh, Ride Council for supporting baseball in the region. We'll be back shortly with the start of the game.
Good afternoon and welcome to the uh, first grade game between the Ride Hawks and the Greenway in the women's division and uh, we were just, uh, just trying to frantically catch up after the first pitch there <laughs> from Mayor, uh, Councillor uh, Penny Peterson and uh, we are underway here pitching for the ride team will be Jessica Morgan and standing at the plate is number 29 the centre fielder Elodie O'Sullivan umpire in charge of this afternoon's fixture is Jordy McRae as that one's on the ground across to the third baseman and the pick will be made at first base there by Alison Norris nice pick up there by Daniela Costagana and that will end Elodie Sullivan here in this top of the first will bring to the plate number nine sec shortstop Jordan Richardson we'll go around and introduce you to the Hawks as they've taken the field as I said Jessica Morgan with the ball catcher is Tani Lovering first base is Alison Norris first pitch into Richardson is a cold strike Alison Norris at first, Katie Gaynor at second, third base is Daniela Costagana, nice play made by her just then. Shortstop is Rihi Noda and the outfield left to right, Erin Morgan, Mahala O'Neill and Emma Green. Scorers for today are Carol, Carol Lovering and Rosemary Needs and that one's hit the head of Richardson. I think she's going to be okay. She'll just be checked out down there by the manager. Seems to be okay, not even checked. We'll bring to the plate number 18, the three-hole hitter, Claire O'Sullivan. Three from five for the season is O'Sullivan. First pitch she sees in from Morgan will be a called strike. Of course, Jessa Mor Jessica Morgan, no stranger to the bump for the Ride Hawks. Just pitch the one innings of work in this uh, early part of the state league. Just the one game for our women's team. And uh, as Richardson takes off, that one's fired back up the middle. And a uh, nice hard hit ground ball there for a single to centre field from Claire O'Sullivan. Will bring it to the plate, the four hole hitter. Number 20, Laura Needs. Eight, uh, four from eight is Needs. Greenway with two games in season 2021. Da Laura with four hits from her eight at bats. One triple. Sees the first pitch in for Morgan as a ball. And that one's lifted into right field. It'll get over the head of the second baseman. And it's being chased into that deep right field corner. Picked up by the center fielder. And uh, one run will cross. Second one has been waved in. Throw will not be in time. And uh, Laura needs will stand safely at third base. That's highly likely that's a double there to right field. And moving on the throw was Laura needs. And uh, two runs are plated here early in this game for the Greenway team. We'll bring to the plate the five-hole hitter, Bronwyn Jarvis. First pitch in for Morgan will be a ball. Jarvis three from six in her at bats in season 2021. She's also hit a triple. She swings on that one. Tried to check swing but had gone round far enough, says umpire Jordy McRae. That's on the ground, under the glove of Morgan, picked up by the second baseman, Gaynor, flicked over to Norris, and she will make the out, but another run will cross the plate here for the Greenway team. We'll bring to the plate number 11, the six-hole header, Christy Gardner.
First pitch in will be a called strike. Gardner two from six leading into today. One and one the count now for her. That one's lifted into the air, chasing in on it will be the left fielder. No play option there, but the throw made. A big chuck there in left field from Aaron Morgan. Kirsty Gardner, Christy Gardner, beg your pardon, safely at first. We'll bring to the plate number 30, the catcher, Amy Salabar. No hits yet for Salabar in season 2021, so she'll be looking to get her account opened here. That one bouncing off the face mask of Lovering, and that will see Gardner advance down to second base on the wild pitch. Big swing there from Salabar. Nice pitch from Morgan. If you are just joining us, thank you for tuning in. We appreciate your support. This is the second of our women's games for today. And that's in for a ball. So two balls, one the count now for Salabar. And that one's going to fall in. And that will see Salabar down on strikes and end the half innings here. But not before Greenway have plated three runs. And after half an inning, it is Greenway three. We'll see how the Hawks can come back in the bottom of the first and respond with their bats. Good afternoon and welcome back to the bottom of the first innings. If you are just joining us, Greenway plating three in the first went like this. Ground out, hit by pitch, single, double, ground out, single, strike out. And uh, that will bring us around now to the bottom of the innings. And I'll introduce you to the Greenway fielders as they've taken the field. With the ball is number 20, Laura Needs. The catcher is Amy Salabar. First base is Christy Gardner. Second base is Iris Ng. Third base is Claire O'Sullivan. The shortstop is Jordan Richardson. The outfield left to right are Bronwyn Jarvis, Elodie O'Sullivan and Zalia Hare. So they're your Greenway team as they've taken the field this afternoon. Laura needs no stranger to the bump for the Greenway team. Has pitched the 3.2 innings of work leading into today's game. Given up no hits, no runs, one walk and six strikeouts. 
And uh, the Greenway girls tell me that it's Hunter Pence Day for them, hence the socks up all around the field. So Hunter, tribute to Hunter Pence Day. And uh, leading off for your Ride Hawks will be number 71, the centre fielder, Mahala O'Neill. That's on the ground, picked up by O'Sullivan. O'Neill on the fly and the pick made at first base there by Gardner. So one pitch, one out here for Laura Needs and the Greenway team. Hard hit ground ball there from O'Neill. Play made will bring to the plate number 79. Short stop, Rihi Nada in her farewell game for the Hawks. Returning to her native Japan in the next couple of weeks and we thank her for her time at the Hawks last season and here unfortunately just being able to play the two games this season due to uh, COVID and rain out the first pitch that she sees in from needs will be a called strike. It's going to catch the outside of the plate there so 0-2 for Noda. That one off the handle, she'll send it away foul. That one's going to miss inside. Good eyes there from Noda. If you're tuning in, let us know. We'd love to hear from you. But, uh, got the centre field camera in full action here this afternoon. That one's lifted into the air. We'll drop into left field for a base hit. Scooped up there by Bronwyn Jarvis. But a nice hit there from Rihi Noda. Get the Hawks with their first base runner for this afternoon. We'll bring to the plate number 87, the catcher, Tani Lovering. Lovering three from five in uh, the, the only other game that the Hawks have played here in season 2021, plagued with COVID and rain. That one missing up for a ball. All the girls here in the women's league, of course, knowing each other, playing with and against each other in state and national teams. Pick off attempt there, no to back quickly. Going to miss inside for a second ball. That's going to almost skim the shoulder of Lovering there. So three straight balls. And that will catch the bottom of the zone there for Needs. So three balls, one strike to count now on the three-hole hitter for your ride Hawks, Tani Lovering. Pick off attempt there. Again, no to back quickly enough. That one's lifted into the air. Moving in on it will be the right fielder, Zalia Hare. And she will take the catch out there in right field. Noda back quickly to first. So two out here for the Hawks. Bottom of the first will bring to the plate the four-hole hitter, 
Number eight, the second baseman, Katie Gaynor, won from two in her first appearances here in season 2021. Her first at bat this afternoon. Gaynor turns on that one. Will, will trail away foul. That's going to catch the outside of the strike zone there for Gainer. So 0 and 2 the count now. Two out, one on here for the Hawks. Greenway plating three in the top of the first. And Gainer will go down on strikes, chasing that outside pitch from Laura Needs. And that will end the inning. So after one complete, it is Greenway three, ride nil. We'll take a short break and be back for the top of the second. Good afternoon and welcome back to the women's game coming live to you from ELS Hall. This is the second of our games. If you are just joining us, the first game going the way of Borkham Hills, 19 runs to eight in a seesawing high scoring event there. We are now into the top of the second innings here at ELS Hall. No changes defensively for your Ride Hawks. And we see Jessica Morgan returning to the hill to start her second innings of work. Stepping in from the right side, leading off for the Greenway team will be number 34, the second baseman, Iris Ng. First pitch you will see in will be a ball. Iris yet to pick up a hit in season 2021. The two balls now on her. That one fired into foul territory there by Ng. So two balls, one the count now for the leadoff hitter. That one will just catch the top of the zone. The count is level. That one's on the ground, fouled away. A 2-2 the count. 
eight hole header leading off here top of the second and Iris will go down on strikes a nice pitching there from Jessica Morgan will bring to the plate number 68 the right fielder Zalia Hare Hare one from two in uh, season 2021 just uh, very small numbers here for these uh, state league girls with just the one or two games being played. As I said, COVID delayed to the start of the season. Also being plagued by rain. First pitch in to Hare is a called strike. Nine hole hitter for the Greenway team. That's going to miss outside. Greenway plating three runs in the top of the first. Hawks unable to answer in the bottom of the first. Leads us to this three run ball game. That one's chopped away by Hare, but it will go foul. She's going to foul that one away as well. That will see Hare down on strikes. Knights pitching there from Morgan. Back-to-back -back strikeouts here of the bottom of the Greenway order will bring us back around to the top of the Greenway order. And I really didn't get a chance to introduce Elodie O'Sullivan. Game starting way quicker than I expected. Four from seven leading into today. Uh, two doubles. And, uh, one walk for Elodie O'Sullivan. Grounded out in her first at bat this afternoon. Definitely a capable leadoff hitter here for the Greenway team. Sees a first pitch in for a ball. That one's been lifted into the air. Tracking back on it is Mahalo O'Neill unable to take the catch. And Elliot Elodie O'Sullivan will get a hit there into centre field. Hard, very hard hit fly ball there, lined out, line should line ball should I say, so just straight dead centre there into the sun, centre fielder not able to get a read on it will bring us around to the shortstop, number nine Jordan Richardson, hit by pitch in her first at bat. She's lined that one down into left under the diving glove of the third baseman. Daniela Costagana. So a really hard hit ball there from Jordan Richardson. Costagana making a great effort there to try and dive and stop that one. We'll bring to the plate number 18, the third baseman, Claire O'Sullivan. Singled to centre field in her first at bat. First pitch in will be a called strike. Nice job there from Morgan. Oh. One and one the count now for O'Sullivan. She's put that one on the ground. Morgan will take her time and take the out. That will be the end of the half innings. So no advance on the score here for the Greenway team despite back-to-back -back hits there from the top of the order. And uh, we'll take a short break and be back to see the Hawks respond the bottom of the second.
Good afternoon and welcome back to the bottom of the second innings leading off for your ride Hawks number 17 the right fielder Emma Green she gets hold of a little bit of that one to send it back to the fence Green one from two in season 2021 we welcome Emma to the Hawks new player to the Hawks lineup and uh, a now valued member of the Hawks team She lifts that one, but it will trail away foul. So 0 and 2, the count now on green. The wind just ripping through ELS Hall as that one misses outside for a ball. Very, very windy afternoon here, as predicted by the Bureau of Meteorology. Strong winds for Sydney, but uh, no rain. Clear skies. As that is going to drop in, and Green will go down on strikes. A nice pitch there from Needs will bring to the plate number 12. Another new face to the Hawks, Daniela Costagana. This will be her first game for the Hawks, so we welcome her to the Hawks and the first game for the season, so we welcome her back to the State League as well. That one will drop in for a cord strike. Gonna miss outside for ball. Well, one on one, the count now for Daniela Costagana. It's gonna drop down. And uh, turn on that one. We'll send it back into the fence for Costagana. <laughs> two balls, two strikes. The count now. It's going to miss down. A full count. And that will catch the outs of Costa Gana. Thought she had the walk, but uh, needs will pick up the strikeout. Back to back strikeouts here for Laura Deeds. We'll bring to the plate number 18 the left fielder, Erin Morgan. It's on the ground and off the glove of Claire O'Sullivan. Hard hit ground ball down and uh, Morgan will beat it out. So a nice piece of hitting there from Erin Morgan. And the Hawks will have their first base runner here in this bottom of the second innings. We'll bring to the plate number 45, Alison Norris. Norris one from two leading into today. Morgan's taken off. So stolen base there from Aaron Morgan. Called strike on Alison Norris. Big hack there from Norris. 
oh and to the count now Norris puts that one on the ground but it will trail away foul down the third base line Gonna miss up for a ball. Good eyes there from Norris. And that one's on the ground too. A Sullivan moving across, and this time checking the runner. She will chase her down now and apply the tag. So Aaron Morgan out on the base pass there. And that will end the half innings. So no change in the score here. And after two complete, it is Greenway three. Ride Neil will take a short break and be back for the... Welcome back to the top of the third innings. If you are just joining us, we have a three-run ball game here. Greenway played in three in the first and uh, now around for their third opportunity here in this game. Leading off will be number 20, the pitcher, Laura Needs, doubling to right field in her first at bat this afternoon. No changes defensively for your ride Hawks. That one's lifted into the air on the first pitch from Needs. Moving across on it will be the right fielder. Not able to make the play. And Needs is on her way to second. Will be turned around. And she'll be satisfied with the single in the end there. So single to right field there for Laura Needs. We'll bring to the plate number four. The left fielder Bronwyn Jarvis. Grounded out to short to second base, sorry, should I say, in her first at bat this afternoon. First pitch in from Morgan will be a called strike on the inside. One will be fouled away by Jarvis. That one down for a ball. So one ball, two strikes to count now. 
on Jarvis. That one straight back up the middle. And Jarvis will get on with the line drive there. Right back up the middle. Bouncing off the mound. Bouncing, I think, nearly off second base there. So that will bring to the plate number 11, first baseman Christy Gardner. Single to left field in her first at bat this afternoon. Hack there from Gardner. Six hole header Gardner single to left. That one's lifted in to left centre. Moving across on it will be the centre fielder. And the Greenway team will be satisfied with just the one base each. So a load of bases now here for the Greenway team. Back to back to back singles. Bring to the plate number seven, the catcher, Amy. Sorry, <laughs> number 30, the catcher, Amy Salabar. Miss outside for ball. And that will catch the zone for Morgan for a called strike. That's been lifted into the air again. Shortstop Noda will take the catch. So one out here for the Greenway team. Top of the third. Bring to the plate number 34, the second baseman. Iris Ng striking out in her first at bat. Now with runners in scoring position. In the form of Laura Needs standing at third. Load of bases. Just the one out here for Ng. She lifts that one foul. Aggressive batting there from the young second baseman. That one's on the ground. Morgan will scoop it up, plake it home to Lovering. Fires it down to first to turn the double, and they have. Great job there from the Hawks to turn the double play and get themselves out of what was sure to be another scoring innings from the Greenway team. Nice foresight there from Jessica Morgan, firing it to Lovering down to Norris, and that was all she wrote. So nice job in the field there from the Hawks. Uh, we'll take a break and be back with the bottom of the third.
Good afternoon and welcome back to the bottom of the third innings. If you are just joining us here, Hawks turning a sensational double play through the plate to end what would have been a, uh, another scoring run by the Greenway team. Had load of bases, none out. And a great job there from the Hawks defensively. Now they have a chance to come back and answer with their bats. Leading off for your ride, Hawks is a nine-hole hitter and pitcher of record. Number 27, Jessica Morgan. First pitch in, she will see, will be a called strike. No defensive changes for the Greenway team. Laura, Le Laura Needs will return with the ball. Morgan sends that one back into the fence. Oh, and to the count now for Morgan. And that will see Morgan down on strikes. Nice pitch there from Needs. Just curving into the zone. Will bring us back around to the top of the order. Number 71, the centre fielder, Mahalo O'Neill. First pitch in to O'Neill will be a ball. One on one, the count now for O'Neill. So one and two, the count now for Mahalo O'Neill. That one's on the ground. Moving across will be the third baseman. And the throw will be in time. So good hustle there from O'Neill, but uh, a nice throw made there by O'Sullivan. And uh, that will be the second out here for the Hawks. We'll bring to the plate number 79, the shortstop, Rihi Noda. First pitch into Noda will be a ball. And that one's been lined into left field. Nice piece of hitting there from Noda. Back to back. Singles to left for her. In her last appearance for the Hawks. And we thank her for her time coming down under. We'll bring to the plate number 87, the catcher, Tani Lovering. Flew out to right field in her first at bat this afternoon. We're looking to try and keep this half innings alive here for the Hawks. She lifts that one into left center. It's going to get over the head of the left fielder. It's on its way to the fence. And Rehe is being waved in. Lovering will stand up at second. She's on her way to third. No, she's been held up at third. And a nice double there for Tani Lovering into deep left center. We'll see a run plated here for the Hawks in the bottom of the third. Nice hitting there from Lovering and solid base running there from Noda. Will bring us back around to number eight, the second baseman, four hole hitter, Katie Gaynor. Good two out hitting there from Noda and Lovering. Got the Hawks on the board here in the bottom of the third. 
can gain or extend that. Ball will missing outside there from Ball. That wind just picking up again here at ELS Hall. Coming in from a different direction now. So just one ball on Gainer. It's going to catch the inside of the plate there. Gainus lifted that one into centre field. Going back on it is the centre fielder, Elodia Sullivan, and she will make the catch. So that ends the uh, bottom of the third. And after three complete, it is ride one, Greenway three. And uh, we're going to take an opportunity to thank our sponsors here at RBC Sports Media and the Ride Baseball Club. Nothing happens here without the support of these guys, our major sponsors, the Royal Hotel returning for their third season with us and we thank them for their support through what would have been tough times for the hotel industry during the COVID lockdowns and we thank them for returning as a sponsor. We thank our new sponsor, new major sponsor, ILP Construction and again another sensational local business supporting baseball in Sydney. Our family of sponsors, Luigi's Pizza Bar, MJ Menard, Aussie Shots, Designer Blinds and Plantations, a new sponsor for 2021. Nickels and Dimes, Next Gen Coding, Straight Up Line Marking, Sydney Diamond Sports, JPM Hardwood Furniture, About Paving, a new sponsor, Winston Express Haulage, and we thank them and uh, for coming on board and uh, celebrating their 30 years of business and uh, got you covered. And, uh, of course, Choice Hotels, a new sponsor for 2021, offering discounted accommodation for all RBC Sports Media. And uh, we'll be having some promo codes up for them when we come back for our next State League men's game. Check that number out on our Facebook page when you're making your next accommodation booking at a Choice Hotel and uh, get the 15% discount. We'll take... I'm just going to take a quick break and get those defensive changes for you from the Hawks. And uh, we'll be. Oh no, I can see who they are. So the new pitcher here is Emma Cummings. So I'll just go around the diamond. Tani Lovering remains behind the dish. Alison Norris is at first base still. Katie Gaynor is still at second base. Rihi Noda remains a shortstop. And uh, third base is now. Uh, Aaron Morgan, uh, left field is Jess Morgan. So Jessica Morgan's gone out to left field. Center fielder remains Mahela O'Neill. The right field remains Emma Green. So Daniela Costagana has come out of the game. Emma Cummings has come in and will take up the honors on the bump. And we welcome Emma for her first pitching assignment for season 2021 and her first pitching assignment for the Ride Hawks, a new face to the Hawks and we welcome her this season. So three new faces, uh, Emma, Emma and Daniela. Welcome to the Hawks family. And uh, the first batter that will face Emma Cummings here this afternoon is Zalia Hare. And I'll apologise to Amy Salabar. I called her Amy Salabar, but I've been told that it's Saliba. So I apologise to Amy for that. First pitch in from Cummings will be a ball. Big hack there from Hare. up so two balls one strike the count now for Hare again missing up for Cummings just a quick chat from catcher Lovering it's a 
is a 3-1 ball game. If you are just joining us, Hawks plating one in the bottom of the third. Greenway plating their three in the top of the first. Great contest here between these two local clubs to the ride region. Three balls, one strike. The count now for Hare. And that will catch the zone. So good visit there from Lovering. The count now full for Hare. That's lifted up into the air, chasing back on it towards us is Lovering and it will fly over our head. So Hare will keep herself alive. Again, Hare will foul that away. So nine hole hitter, right fielder, battling here. And Hare lifts that one into right field and it tipped off the glove of the diving Emma Green. Nice trip attempt out there in right field by Green. Just tipping off the glove of her as she dove for that ball. So Hare will get a board. That brings us back around to the top of the order. Number 29, the centre fielder, Elodie O'Sullivan, stepping in from the right side. Ground out in a single to centre field for her this afternoon. First pitch into Sullivan will be a called strike. <laughs> that will drop in for coming. So 0 and 2 the count now on O'Sullivan. will miss up the throw will not be in time so here we'll get the stolen base so one ball to the count now on O'Sullivan and that one's lifted into the air Going back on it is O'Neill lost it in the sun. So directs directly looking into the sun there. And O'Sullivan will get the double to centre field. It's dead straight away into that setting sun behind our heads. Now that will bring it to the plate. Number nine, the shortstop, Jordan Richardson. So she's been put on. So an intentional walk there for Jordan Richardson. And that will bring to the plate number 18, the third baseman, Claire O'Sullivan. None out here for the Greenway team. Loaded bases. Sullivan with a single and a ground out this afternoon. This will be the first time that she will face Cummings. First pitch in from Cummings is a called strike. That will miss outside, scooped up by Lovering. No movement on the base pass from the Greenway girls. Yeah. 
That one's on the ground. It will find that gap in right field. And another run will plate here for Greenway. In the top of the third. So a nice single there to right field for Claire O'Sullivan. We'll bring to the plate number 20, the pitcher Laura Needs. She has loaded bases, none out, doubled to right and then singled to right. First pitch in from Cummings to Needs will be a ball. It's going to miss up as well. So 2 and 0 oh the count now for Needs. 4 1 ball game here in this round 5 fixture. Two balls, one. Hawks cheering their pitcher on here. So that catches the top of the zone for, for Cummings. That one's on the ground, it will go foul. And all the Greenway girls will return to their bases. That one's lifted into the air, moving in on it, back on it. Gainer will take the catch at second base. A tag up will be made. The throw will not be in time. And Elodie O'Sullivan will cross the plate. And Laura Needs will be out there on the fly out to second base. So one out here for the Hawks. We'll bring to the plate number four, the left fielder Bronwyn Jarvis ground out and a single for her. Greenway extending their lead here five runs to one. Jarvis that one missing up for a ball to Jarvis. Jarvis has lifted that one up, but it will go foul. So one ball, one strike the count now for Bronwyn Jarvis. That one's lifted up on the run back is the left fielder. And Aaron Morgan will take the catch out there. And that ball uh, coming in, hitting Katie Gaynor, but uh, she appears to be okay. So Bronwyn Jarvis will be out. No movement on the base pass from the Greenway team. And uh, we're back around to the six hole hitter, number 11. First baseman Christy Gardner. Back to back singles for Gardner. First pitch in from Cummings will be up for a ball. You're just joining us, Greenway, plating two in this innings. Runners on at first and second. Two out. Gardner just gets a little bit of that pitch to send it away foul.
one missing up for a second ball. So 2-2 two, two the count now for Gardner. That one's been lifted into the air and Gaynor will park herself under it and that will be the end of the innings. But not before the Greenway team played another two runs. And uh, that is the uh, uh, top of the third. And uh, we have a 5-1 ball game. We'll take a break and be back to see how the Hawks can respond in the bottom of the fourth. Good afternoon and welcome back to the bottom of the fourth. If you are just joining us, we have a defensive change for the Greenway team. Uh, Jordan Richardson has come in to pitch and Laura Needs has moved to shortstop. So I will just remind you of how they've taken the field. Jordan Richardson with the ball, the catcher remains. Amy Saliba, first base Christy Gardner, second base Iris Ng, third base Claire O'Sullivan. Shortstop now is Laura Needs. Outfield left to right, Bronwyn Jarvis, Elodie Sullivan, and Zalia Hare. This is Jordan Richardson's first pitching assignment for season 2021. So we welcome her to the bump and we welcome to the plate number 17, Emma Green, leading off here for your ride Hawks in the bottom of the fourth. Green will be the first of the Hawks to face Richardson. Now one and one the count now for Green. And that one's on the ground. Moving in quickly is Needs. Fires it across. Big stretch there at first base from Gardner. But the out will be made. That will bring to the plate number 19, Emma Cummings, and our pitcher of record for your ride Hawks for her first at bat this afternoon. Cummings 0 from 4 leading into today. As I said, the Hawks have only played the one game. Greenway also with just the one game. A very disjointed, beg your pardon, two games. Very disjointed season for the start of baseball in this summer. But... Uh, Everyone working really hard behind the scenes to ensure that the games get played in a COVID safe environment and uh, we appreciate all the support from 
both leagues, the New South Wales State League and the Women's League for getting us back on the park. One ball, one strike. A head coach here of the women's program, Paul O'Neill, also wears about a thousand other hats here at the club. One of them, that's lined into right field by Emma Cummings. And a nice piece of hitting there from Cummings and she beats it out. So lead off single there to right field for Emma Cummings and the Ride Hawks. Nice hard hit line drive there picked up in right field. Azalea Hare looked to make the play at first but Cummings there. Bring to the plate number 18. The now third baseman Erin Morgan singled to shortstop in her first at bat this afternoon. Cricket shots that away down to right field but it will trail foul. Off attempt there back very quickly was Cummings. <laughs> That's lifted into left field and chasing back on it is the left fielder and it's going to go to the fence that one and uh, Emma Cummings has been held up at third nice double there for Erin Morgan to deep left center from when Jarvis turned on it and it uh, was on its way to the fence so nice hitting there from Erin Morgan and the Hawks on a bit of a roll here in the bottom of the fourth will bring to the plate number 45 first baseman Alison Norris reached on a fielder's choice in her First at bat this afternoon, fielder's choice being that uh, the third baseman, Clara Sullivan, picked it up and made an alternate play to end that uh, innings there. And that's going to be called a swing for Norris. going to catch the inside of the plate there. That's going to miss inside. Good job from Norris there. Good eyes. On a movement on that ball from Richardson. As I'm sure our centre field camera angle will show. Norris gets a hold of that one, sends it away foul. So one ball, two strikes to count now for Norris. One out, two on here for the Hawks. Norris lifts that one. Camped under it is shortstop needs and that will be the second out. Bring us around to the nine hole hitter, number 27. Now left fielder, Jessica Morgan. The 
Big hack there from Morgan. It's going to miss inside. One ball, one strike to count now for Jessica Morgan. Not tempted to chase after that one. High and outside. That one's lifted into the air. The infielder all moving in on it. Sullivan's going to make the catch. And that will be the end of the Hawks here in the bottom of the fourth. So the score remains five runs to one. Greenway leading here after four innings. We'll take a break and be back for the top of the fifth. And welcome back to the top of the fifth innings. We have some defensive changes for your ride Hawks. Rihanna Bennett coming into the game. Beg your pardon, I had a mouthful of nuts. Rihanna Bennett coming into the game, replacing Emma Green in right field. We also have a positional change. Rihi Noda coming into pitch. Emma Cummings moving to a third. And... Erin uh, Morgan will now take up the role as a shortstop. So just going around the diamond. Rihi Noda with the ball. Tony Lovering remains the catcher. First base, Alison Norris. Second base, Caddy Gaynor. Third base, Emma Cummings. A shortstop is Erin Morgan. Outfield, left to right. Uh, uh, Jessica Morgan, Mahala O'Neill and Rhiannon Bennett. And uh, this will be Rehe's fourth innings of work for the Hawks, which three innings leading in today gave up three hits, two walks, five strikeouts. First batter to face her will be the catcher for the Greenway Giants, Amy Saliba. Our first pitch in from Noda will be a ball. As I said, we thanked Rehe for her time down here in Australia and at the Hawks. And uh, she's been a valuable member of the Hawks team for the last season. Didn't get much time to play with us this year. Just the one game so far in season 2021. We're returning to Japan in the near future. We thank her for being a Hawk. We wish her all the best with her baseball career. So three balls there. Three balls, one for Saliba. Oh, 
that will catch the zone shout out to Narelle Gostre tuning in from Darwin thanks for tuning in Narelle we appreciate your support and uh, all the work that you've done for baseball over the years too we uh, appreciate your support of the game and that will be the walk for Saliba so a lead off walk there to Amy Saliba will bring to the plate number 34 the second baseman Iris Ng strike out and uh, ground into a double play for young Iris this afternoon the Greenway girls tell me that they have their tribute to Hunter Pence which is why they're all wearing their pants up today game played with a lot of good spirit highly competitive and uh, some quality plays here no doubt So one ball, two strikes now. The count on Iris. It's going to miss outside. The 2-2. Two -two. Well scooped up there by Lovering, no movement on the base pass from Saliba. And the count now full for the eight hole hitter for the Greenway Club. That one will be lifted up in the air over the outstretched glove of Alison Norris, but it will drop into foul territory. That will see Iris down on strikes. Her first scalp here for Noda. The top of the fifth will bring to the plate number 68, the right fielder, Zalia Hare. First pitch in for a ball. That one's been lifted into right field. Will it trail away? Yes, it will. Chased by Rhiannon Bennett, but it will go foul down near the canteen. So one ball, one strike, the count now. Big hack there from Hare. Nice pitch from Noda. That will be on the ground. Noda will turn on its way to Morgan. The flick to first base will not be in time. And the Hawks looking to turn the double there. Nice play though by, by Noda. Quick turn to get the advancing Saliba. So two outs here for the Greenway team will bring us back around to the top of the order. Elodia Sullivan ground out the single and a double for her. This will be the first time that she will face Noda here this afternoon. First pitch in is a ball.
That one's on the ground, off the knees of Morgan. It's going to bounce away and, uh, yeah, not being able to be scooped up there at all. So Sullivan will get aboard. Bring us around to the two-hole header, number nine. The now pitcher, Jordan Richardson, hit by pitch a single and an intentional walk for her this afternoon. Two out here for the Hawks. That one's lifted in to left, moving back on it and across, but it'll drop for a base hit and be scooped up in right field. And pitcher's cover there at third base will make the out. So uh, tag up there at second base by Zalia Hare. And uh, that ball just dropping in front of the left fielder, uh, Jessica Morgan. And the fielder's choice play made there at third base. Nice bit of fielding there from the Hawks. Heads up fielding. And that will be the end of the inning. So despite those... Uh, hits from the Greenway team no advance to the score and uh, we're going to take a break the top of the Hawks order coming back to lead us off here in the bottom of the fifth it's a 5-1 ball game we'll be back shortly Good afternoon and welcome back to the bottom of the fifth innings. If you are just joining us, we have a 5-1 ball game here. Hawks leading off for the bottom of the fifth is Mahala O'Neill. Big swing there from O'Neill. Back to back ground outs to third base from her. But this will be the first time that she will face Richardson here in this game. Going to miss outside to one on one the count now for O'Neill. Right, two balls, one. Thank you to Councillor Penny Peterson who threw out the first pitch in this afternoon's game. The first home game for the Hawks here this season. We thank Ride Council for their support. As that misses outside for another ball. So three and one the count now for O'Neill. That will miss inside, so O'Neill will pick up a leadoff walk here for the Hawks. We'll bring to the plate the pitcher of record. No, we're not. We've got a pinch hitter. 
she had a different number on. <laughs> tricky, tricky, tricky. They're tricking me. They're tricking me with their numbers. But uh, this is Rihi Noda. Back to back singles to left. Back diving back on the pickoff attempt there is O'Neill. So back to back singles here for Rihi Noda to left field. This will be the first time that she will face Jordan Richardson. Mahil O'Neill's taken off. The throw will not be in time. So a walk on a stolen base there for Mahela O'Neill. And uh, just knocking the base off its blocking there. So opportunity for the Hawks to claw some of these runs back here in this bottom of the fifth innings past 5 p.m. here in Sydney. That's missed inside for ball. I hope you're enjoying our new center field camera here at ELS Hall. Our BC team have uh, been working tirelessly to get that up and running. It's a fantastic camera angle to watch the game. So one and one the count now for Rihi. Beg your pardon, two and one. That will miss outside, scooped up there by Amy Saliba. No movement on the base pass from O'Neill. Thanks for tuning in, Pattern Gaming. <laughs> I'm sure that that's not your birth name. <laughs> that's lifted into the, yeah, nice line drive into centre field from Noda. And uh, O'Neill's been held up at third base. Nice, nice uh, fielding there from the Greenway team. So back to back to back hits there for Noda. And the Hawks now with runners on the corners. We'll bring it to the plate number 87, the catcher, Tani Lovering. Lovering with a fly out to right field and a double to deep center field. Greenway field is all moving back here on Lovering. Runners taken off. No attempt there on the throw from the catcher Saliba. So Hawks now with runners on second and third. None out here. Bottom five. Got ourselves a ball game, sports fans. It's going to be going to be up. And two balls on Lovering. Wind just picking up again. Don't know if you can hear it through our microphones, but it's a pretty cool old afternoon here at ELS Hall. Three balls, no rain. Doesn't even smell like rain. It's uh, just bitterly cold wind for November. That's on the ground. It's right up the middle and it will go in for a base hit. And Rehe's been held up at second. Lovering will settle for the single. So another run crossing the plate here for the Hawks. Nice piece of hitting right back up the middle. Textbook hitting there from Lovering. And the Hawks have runners on the corners. O'Neill scoring. Nice Gary. Bring to the plate number eight, the second baseman, Katie Gaynor. Fly out and a strike out for Gaynor. Oh. 
Lovery's taken off. The throw not made. So another stolen base here for the Hawks. 5-2 is the scoreline. And the Hawks with none out here in the bottom of the fifth. Big swing from Gaynor. Looking to get the job done. <laughs> she represents the tying run in this game. That's going to miss outside for a ball. Saliba runners held up. Saliba chasing it to the fence. But uh, Noda held back at third there by the base coach. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in again, Narelle. We appreciate your support of the stream and uh, all of those tuning in from across the world. This is women's baseball in Sydney. Very proud to be bringing you this stream. It's a quality game, I can tell you, as was the first game this afternoon. MacArthur and Borkham Hills dueling it out in the first game of the double header. Scoreline not reflecting the tightness of the match in the end. It's a great, great game of women's baseball followed equally like this. 5-2 the scoreline here. Another big hack from Gaynor, and that will see her down on strikes. We'll bring to the plate for her first at bat this afternoon. Rhiannon Bennett entering the game in a defensive position in the last innings. Oh, from three leading into today. First pitch into Bennett will be up and in for a ball. And Bennett has lined that one into left field and it's going to drop in fire for a fair hit. It's down into the bottom corner. Bennett's going to stand up. Two runs are going to cross the plate. And that's a basis clearing double there from Rhiannon Bennett just landing inside the line as it headed down the left field side of the field. And a great piece of hitting there from Bennett entering the game and making a huge impact. We have a one run ball game sports fans and the, the tying run Bennett standing at second none out here for the Hawks in the bottom of the fifth and will bring to the plate. Uh, Emma Cummings had a spell on the bump now at third base. He singled herself to right field in her first at bat this afternoon. That one's going to miss on the inside for a ball. A bit of energy coming out of the Hawks' dugout. Clawing back three runs in this innings. Five or four ball game. That's going to miss up again. Not dropping for Richardson. That one will catch the zone though, so two balls, one, now the count. You can see the intensity on the batter's faces from our center field camera. And that's on the ground, it's going to get through. Oh, no, it's not, the diving glove of O'Sullivan. 
and not able to make the throw. A sensational effort there by O'Sullivan. I'd probably give that a hit in my book. And uh, if I was great, a great diving play there, I thought it had got underneath her. But uh, great effort there. Throw off the knees, not in time. And Cummings will get down to first base. So Hawks now with runners on the corners. Still none out here. Bring to the plate number 18, Erin Morgan. Oh, that's going to hit Morgan in the back. Yes, it is. She seems to be okay. And to hit her right on the letters there. And she seems okay down at first base. So that will load up the bases here for... And that's warranted a visit from the Greenway manager. <laughs> so just recapping the innings as that visit continues. Lead off walk to Mahala O'Neill single to centre field Rehi Noda, Tani Lovering singling to centre and Katie Gaynor out on the strikeout Emma Green doubling to left and uh, Emma Cummings singling to third base, Erin Morgan hit by pitch, three runs in none out, loaded bases here for your ride Hawks Alison Norris at the plate reached on a fielder's choice and popped out to shortstop in her at bats this afternoon Here's a first pitch in for a ball. That's a bitterly cold win, I tell you. <laughs> cold strike. One and one the count now for Norris. Very, very cold wind blowing across ELS Hall. Those of you if not familiar with the park, it's a big open one. One ball, one strike. Big hack there from Norris. One and two the count now. That's on the ground. Picked up by Needs, a flick to second, and the double play will be turned. So that will end the innings, and the Hawks will leave three stranded, but not before they plate three. And so after five complete, it is Greenway five, ride four. We will take a break and be back for the top of the sixth.
Good afternoon and welcome back to the top of the sixth innings. If you are just joining us, the Hawks played in three in the bottom of the fifth. Now within one run of the Greenway team and uh, my boss has run away and I'm in charge of the commentary on my own. God help us one and all. Okay, bringing it to the plate, leading off for the Greenway team is number 18, the third baseman Claire O'Sullivan. Singled to centre, ground down to the pitcher and a single to right field for her this afternoon. First pitch into O'Sullivan will be a ball. Catch the zone for a strike. So one and one to count now for O'Sullivan. It's going to drop in. Nice pitch there from Noda. That will bounce away outside. One ball, two balls, two strikes. And O'Sullivan's lifted that one into the air. Moving back on it is the left fielder Morgan and she will take the catch. A nice catch out there in deep left field for Jessica Morgan. Will bring to the plate number 20. Shortstop Laura Needs. I'm in charge of the camera work as well, so sorry about that. That one's lifted into the air. Foul for needs. It's going to miss down for a ball. Thank goodness you're back. One ball, one strike to count now for Laura Needs. Chopped away foul. I press some buttons. <laughs> yep. I press some buttons. One ball, two strikes. It's going to miss outside. So two and two, the count now for <laughs> needs. One out here, top six. And that one's lifted into the air over the outstretched arm of the shortstop. And Laura Needs will pick herself up a hit there to center field.
Okay, we'll bring to the plate number four the left fielder Bronwyn Jarvis. Jarvis ground out single and a fly out this afternoon. On the ground it will trail away foul. Owen won the count now for Jarvis. That will miss in the top of the zone there, so one on one. If you're just joining us, this is the top of the six innings. That's on the ground, off the chest of the third baseman, Morg and a Cummings, and a nice throw across the diamond there good pick from Norris good stop there from Cummings at third base put a body on the line kept it in front good work there awkward bounce off the dirt and uh, nice throw across the diamond for the second out here <coughs> beg your pardon we'll bring to the plate number 11 first baseman Christy Gardner single back to back singles to left and centre and then a fly out to second base. First pitch in from Noda will be a ball. So two out, one on here for Greenway, top six. It's going to miss outside for a second ball. Hack there from Gardner. So two and one to count. That will catch the zone. Nice pitch there from Noda. Cheered on by a teammate. So two and two the count now. Two out. And Gardner keeps herself alive. It's a very cold day at the ballpark. <laughs> It's a great game of baseball though. And that's a great pitch from Noda, but it will miss up. So three full count here for Christy Gardner. And that's lifted in to the center field and I'll down the throat of a Mahala O'Neill who will take the catch and end their innings here. So nice innings there from the Hawks putting up a zero and uh, we'll take a very, very short break and, ba and be back for the bottom of the sixth.
Good afternoon and welcome back to the bottom of the six innings here at ELS Hall. We're getting into the closing moments of this game. Six innings of quality baseball here. We've got a one run ball game. First game of the doubleheader going the way of Borkham Hills. Nineteen runs to eight after what was a seesawing game against the MacArthur Orioles team and I uh, congratulate both those teams for an entertaining game as I do with these two teams of outstanding athletes. Thoroughly enjoyed commentating these games this afternoon. Hope you've enjoyed watching them. Bring into the plate number 27 leading off for your Ride Hawks, Jessica Morgan. Strikeout and a flyout. For her, she's lifted that one into left field. It's going to get under the glove of the diving left fielder, Bronwyn Jarvis, and it's going to make its way to the fence. Morgan is on her way to third, and she's been waved in. She's going to get out. <laughs> A lot of cheering there from the Hawks' dugout. Very ambitious on the bases there was Morgan, and we've got somebody down out there in left field. So uh, left fielder, looks like she might have had a fall. Greenway girls and uh, the ride manager Paul O'Neill just headed out to check on her. Jessica Morgan very ambitious on the base pass there. I just uh, can't really see what's going on down there, but we hope that she's okay. Umpire out to check on her. Girls are waving for a drink. So, wow, well look at that, the center field camera has swung around with the maestry of our executive producer here and uh, we can see that uh, the left fielder there, Bronwyn Java sitting up, just being run a drink out to her. Probably uh, winded herself diving for that ball, which is, uh, I suspect, what has happened. Teammates concerned about her health, quite rightly. She's uh, being pulled to her feet. It appears that she's okay. Good to see her back up on her feet again. That's a great camera angle into left field there. Wow, amazing. Don't miss a minute of the action here at ELS Hall. I suspect that that's what's happened. Bronwyn Jarvis diving for that ball has... Uh, Winded herself. She appears to be on her feet and uh, ready to play on. And, uh, glad to see that she's okay. So the Greenway girls returning to their defensive positions and uh, Bronwyn seems okay out there in left field. Glad to see. Okay, so back into the game and uh, just reminding you the lead off Double 
to Jessica Morgan out on the ambitious running to third will bring us around to the top of our order stepping in from the right side will be the lead off Mihaela O'Neill she's that one up for first pitch ball ground out ground out walk for O'Neill uh, she was the lead off in here in the bottom of the fifth where the Hawks did their scoring we're looking to get something started here just gets hold of enough of that one to send it foul. One ball, one strike. The count now for O'Neill. <laughs> it's going to miss inside. So two balls, one, the count now. A foul there for O'Neill. So I've just been texted some results from the State League. Thank you to Chairman of the State League, Kerry Jackson, under 18s, Blacktown Workers, zero, Canterbury Vikings, zero, MacArthur Orioles, 17, defeated Cronulla Sharks, three, Manly Eagles, 16, defeated Central Coast, six, Ride Hawks, six, defeated Borkham Hills, five. That's our under 18 Hawks boys getting a win over there at Northmead this afternoon. And that is O'Neill down on strikes. Nice pitching there from Richardson. Other games around the league this afternoon. Uh, third grade, Manly Eagles 16, defeated Central Coast 6. I beg your pardon, third grade. Blacktown Workers 11, defeated Canterbury Vikings 3. MacArthur Orioles 6, defeated Cronulla Sharks 3. Manly Eagles 11, defeated Central Coast 3. They're the third grade results so far. In for round five of the State League. And if you are just joining us, round five of the Women's we League went the way of Borkham Hills earlier this afternoon. We have a change here for the Greenway team. It looks like Claire O'Sullivan has moved to the mound. So she's just going through a warm-up pitches. I'll just uh, read out those state league scores again. <coughs> Excuse me. Under 18s. Blacktown Workers Canterbury had a draw. MacArthur defeated Cronulla. Manly defeated Central Coast. And our Ride Hawks under 18s boys getting their first win of the season. Defeating Borkham Hills 6-5. to five. And uh, third grade going the way, Blacktown Workers 11 defeated Canterbury Vikings 3, MacArthur Orioles 6 defeated Cronulla Sharks 3, Manly Eagles 11 defeated Central Coast 3. So there are the, the results so far. Thank you to Kerry Jackson for texting those into the stream. And uh, the change is, uh, as I had suspected, Claire O'Sullivan has taken up the... Uh, Honours with the ball. Claire pitching one innings of work leading into today. Giving up no hits, one run, which was earned. One walk, three strikeouts. And the first of the Hawks that will face her here this afternoon is our pitcher of record, Rehe Nada. Nada with three hits this afternoon. Single to left, single to left, single to centre. This will be the first time that she will face O'Sullivan. And it looks like Laura Needs has moved to third base. And Jordan Richardson has resumed her position at shortstop. So I'll just remind you around the diamond. Clara Sullivan with the ball. First catcher is Amy Saliba. 
Third base is Christy Gardner. Second base, Iris Ng. Third base is now Laura Needs. A shortstop is Jordan Richardson. And the outfield left to right. Uh, Bronwyn hopes she's feeling better. Chavez, centre fielder, Elodie O'Sullivan. And the right fielder, Zalia Hare. The girls wearing their socks up this weekend. A tribute to Hunter Pence, I'm told. And uh, now we'll resume the game. Two out here for the Hawks, bottom six. First pitch in from O'Sullivan will be a called strike. Just past 5.35 here in Sydney. It's a bitterly cold afternoon at the ballpark. Nice to see the crowd here supporting the Hawks as that one is inside Rehe jumping out of the way. Nice crowd here for the Hawks supporting the girls team. And uh, they are all freezing to death. <laughs> One ball, one strike. The count here on Noda. That's going to miss outside. Two balls, one. And that's on the ground. Moving across. It's going to bounce off the glove of Richardson. Noda will get aboard. Two out hitting there again from Rihi Noda. And she now represents the tying run in this game. We'll bring to the plate number 87 to catch a tiny lovering. A fly out to right, a double to centre and a single to centre for her this afternoon. She represents the go-ahead run here. So the, uh, we've got a swap in the field here. Jordan Richardson's move to third base. And uh, Laura Needs has moved back to shortstop. That ball just bouncing off the hand of Richardson. Just giving her a bit of respite there, moving her to third base, hopefully. <laughs> O'Sullivan looking in for the signal, checking the first base runner. That's going to drop in on Lovering for a strike. Oh, big hack there from Lovering straight into the glove of the catcher Saliba. So 0 oh and 2 the count now. And notice taken off. The ball bouncing for Richardson. The throw will not be in time. And Noda will get. And she's on her way home. The throw is on its way. And the tag will be made. <laughs> and that will end the half innings here. The Hawks aggressive on the base pass again. But not able to level this game up here. And uh, that is game. And it'll go in the books as a 5-4 ball game. Hawks had their chances here in this innings and uh, just not able to tie it up. And uh, that will be the end of the game. And what a thrilling end to the game it was. Rihi Noda in her final game for the Hawks, making every effort she could to score that tying run and uh, just not, un are not able to get under the tag of Amy Saliba there. And uh, congratulations to the Greenway team. I think there might have been a small injury to Jordan Richardson as well. And uh, she made a gallant effort to make that play there at the last play of the game. So that will be the end of the game here. And uh, first game going the way of Borkham Hills. Second game going the way of the Greenway Giants. And uh, we thank you for tuning in. We appreciate your support of the stream. And uh, we'll be back here in a couple of weeks with the State League game. Uh, until then, on behalf of Owen Taluda and the RBC Sports Media team, I'm Kerry Choi signing off.